If you guys are like me, you're definitely struggling to find bass in these colder temperatures. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the deeper chirp in this pond out here to find fish and structure along the bottom of the lake so you know what bait to throw and how to present it for the best chance to hook up into a nice sized bass in this fall weather. So the first thing we're gonna do is just cast our sonar out here, right towards the middle. All right. <clears throat> oh my goodness, right off the cuff, we're marking stuff. Wow, a lot of vegetation on that bottom. We're looking at about 10 feet of water. Don't worry if you guys can't see my screen, I'm gonna throw it up. Ooh, good little bump there, that's really nice. Oh yeah, that bottom looks outstanding. We got a couple fish, it looks like they're in deeper water. Might be going with more of a bottom bait kind of deal. Oh yeah, there's some fish. We're marking some fish right off the, oh my God, we're marking a ton of fish. Right off the weed line. Oh my God. Uh, no, no, no. Whoa. Good going. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? What happened? It's not attached anymore. It's not attached anymore. What happened? You want to try the uh, movie theater pond? By the way, over there. Like three minutes away, if that. All right, so we've now changed locations to the pond behind the Epic Theater. Uh, same thing as before. I'm gonna be casting, checking out the bottom, structure, things like that. We got Brad there in the background. Um, and then, uh, so we're gonna cast, we're gonna use the sonar, see what it looks like, and then we're gonna go to the spot, cast, catch the fish. Isolate everything else and just boost the hiccups. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. Let's go, boys. Let's go right with- Let's go right with- No! Oh, my, right where the deeper said it was. Oh my, God. oh, come on. All right, all right, let's try to get it again. Let's try to get it again. We're gonna get it again. We're gonna get it again, it's fine. It's, oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. Oh my God. You normally don't want that. Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe I lost that fish. Let's go with the bigger one. Thank you. Put this trailer here on the spinner, just a fluke. Walking up on this little retention pond here. I don't have a lot of high hopes. I'm not seeing a lot of structure. Bottom looks flat from what I can see along the, you know, bank here. So uh, we're just gonna come along the side here. We're gonna cast this out in front of us and see if we can't mark any fish. Come on, there we go. Just gonna cast towards the middle of the pond and work our way in kind of a fanning motion and see what we can get. Oh my gosh, it's actually really deep here, kind of surprised at that. It's 11 feet. Was not expecting an 11 foot pond. 12 foot, good Lord. Pretty flat bottom. That's to be expected. A little, little bit of contour there, not a ton though. Nope, coming up. All right, so it gets pretty deep out there, but I think it's really shallow, really fast. Oh my goodness, all right. It looked like we marked something just at the end there. I'm not really sure. Let's do two more. We'll do one on the right, one on the left of where we just cast. Try to get as comprehensive information as we can. We've only marked about two fish so far.
marked one just to the shore here. Oh, there's one. Sitting on the bottom there, a little small guy. Oop, there's another one. He might be following it, honestly. Tell you what, let's grab our spinner. See if we can't uh, pick into the guy we just marked. Right there. Walking up on this little retention pond here. I don't have a lot of high hopes. I'm not seeing a lot of structure. Bottom looks flat from what I can see along the, you know, bank here. So uh, we're just gonna come along the side here. We're gonna cast this out in front of us and see if we can't mark any fish. Come on, there we go. Just gonna cast towards the middle of the pond and work our way in kind of a fanning motion and see what we can get. Oh my gosh, it's actually really deep here. Kind of surprised at that. It's 11 feet. Was not expecting an 11 foot pond. 12 foot. Good Lord. Pretty flat bottom. That's to be expected. A little, little bit of contour there. Not a ton though. Nope, coming up. All right, so it gets pretty deep out there, but I think it's really shallow, really fast. Oh my goodness. All right. It looked like we marked something just at the end there. I'm not really sure. Let's do two more. We'll do one on the right, one on the left of where we just cast. Try to get as comprehensive information as we can. We've only marked about two fish so far. Marked one just to the shore here. Oh, there's one. Sitting on the bottom there, a little small guy. Oop, there's another one. He might be following it, honestly. Tell you what, let's grab our spinner. See if we can't uh, pick into the guy we just marked. Right there. There's one, there's one, right where the deeper said it was. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, come on, land it, land it, land it, land it. Yes, right where the deeper said it was. Perfect, look at that. Yes, perfect. Oh, look at that set, that hook set, right in the mouth. Ah, oh. oh, we missed the other one, but we got this one. And guess what, I mean, by no means is this a tank, you guys, but man, perfect, finding fall bass with the deeper chirp. Look at that. Super pretty colors. Gorgeous fish. Get the release here. There he goes. If you guys like what you see so far, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you guys get notifications of whenever I upload. I upload a short every single day, a video every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and I go live every Monday for a different podcast, so tune in. All right, well, that went really well. Um, let's see if we can't replicate that. I mean, we cast out, marked a fish, threw twice, bam, got it. It's hard to beat that. But as you guys saw in the sonar, that was just a little small guy. So we're gonna try to find a bigger mark. Something maybe in the three to four pound range. And what we're looking for is just large streaks of yellow. Kinda, they're probably gonna near, be near the bottom. 
It's just based off the water temperature and everything, which is to be expected. Oh, there's one. You guys see that? Looks like he's sitting on some vegetation on the bottom. Now, my curiosity is if we can replicate it. Because if I can replicate and show that there's a fish there without a doubt, and then go and catch it, I think that'll be pretty cool. All right, let's see if we can't replicate it. So we marked one about four feet of water last time. Right, there's that same little jump of vegetation. So that time I cast slightly to the right of where I previously cast, and now I'm gonna cast slightly to the left of where I cast and mark that fish the first time. See if I can't find that fish again. Or if I can't find them, that could tell me potentially that they're cruising the banks, which is also helpful knowledge. We're at about eight feet of depth. So out towards the middle there, it definitely gets deeper. I mean, we're in almost 12 feet of water there in the middle. That's significant. I mean, there could be some mondos hiding down there. And I'm not marking any of the fish that I were before. I mean, that, that leads me to believe that they're moving. They're kind of like circling the pond, you know? Which would not be surprising for this body of water for the bass to be kind of perusing the uh, the coast and the, you know, the shoreline and whatnot. Just based off of what I saw from those scans, I think I'm gonna cast alongside this bank here. And I know it's deeper, so I wanna go a little slower so it sinks down in the water. And I bet I got a pretty good chance of getting one as they're perusing the, uh, the shore here, the banks. I'm gonna keep my rod pointed out so that way the uh, lure stays kind of deep in the deeper section of the water. All right, here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take what I know from those scans that I got, where the fish are, you know, the depth they are, things like that, and the one that I caught, I'm gonna take all that information, and I'm gonna go to the exact opposite side of the pond. I'm not gonna cast sonar, I'm just gonna take what I know from this side. I'm gonna go over here, and I bet I catch a fish. Opposite side of the pond. We're gonna untangle our line here. There we go. Now I'm gonna catch a bass. Uh, it's a little close to the bank. I might be able to work with it though. I have to call it honestly. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! That would have been the perfect freaking ending. Like, oh my god. Oh my god, I just hooked one. Good. It's good stuff. Just hooked one. And I probably pulled the hook because I was too eager. But cruising along the banks, just like I was telling y'all. I can't get him again. I gotta just be circling, honestly. No, I'm not gonna get him. No way, dude. That's so disappointing. <laughs>